we will introduce an important and traditional Chinese festival, that is the Dragon Boat Festival. The Dragon Boat Festival is also called the Duan Festival, and it is a traditional holiday in China, one of the most important festivals, which is celebrated on the fifth day of the fifth month. And it is a folk festival widely passed down with a history of over 2,000 years. It's a long, long history. And the Dragon Boat Festival is held yearly. And it is notable for its educational influence. So we have a question now. Why? Why is it notable for its educational influence? What kind of educational uh, instruction here? Let's look at this question. What does this festival commemorate? It commemorates Chu Yuan and also as a chance for Chinese people to build their bodies and dispel diseases. So here I have a question. Why? Why is this festival used to build people's bodies and dispel diseases? Okay, let's go on and then we will find some answers. The origin of Dragon Boat Festival. Okay, there are many legends and beliefs about the origin of the Dragon Boat Festival. First, it's about Chu Yuan, and another version is about Cao e. Who is Cao e? Cao e was a dutiful daughter in Han Dynasty. And another version is about Wu Zixu. Uh, Wu Zixu was a statement of Wu State during the spring and autumn period. And this version is rather popular in Jiangsu and Zhejiang provinces. Okay, and let's look. But among all of these versions, the most widely accepted version is that the festival originated in the memory of Chu Yuan. Yes. So here there is another question. Who was Chu Yuan? Yes, let's look at some pictures first. And from all of these pictures, we know Chu Yuan was in ancient China. And here, this is the stem of Chu Yuan. Uh -huh. Chu Yuan lived uh, in the state of Chu during the war Warring States period. And what position was he? Okay, he was a descendant of Chu royal family. And he served in high offices in the state. What kind of man was Chu Yuan? Chu Yuan was upright, royal, and highly esteemed. Just now we said he served in high offices in his state, but he was entrapped by the evil speech. That means some people uh, said some bad words about him and dismissed by the emperor. During his exile, Chu Yuan wrote a great many famous literary works to do one thing, to express his deep concern about his state. But at last, in despair, Chu Yuan grabbed a large stone and drowned himself in the Mila River. Look at this. Grab a large stone. That's the way how Chu Yuan jumped into the Milo River. He grabbed a huge stone to 
escape people saving him. So from this way, we find he was determined to die. He didn't hope anybody to save him. Okay, why? Because he was in this fear. Okay, and let's go on. Qian wrote many great masterpieces, and just now we said he wrote a great many literary works. And among his works, there was one influential Chinese literary work, Li Song. Yes, and Li Song is the longest lyric poetry in politics in ancient China, and. It is full of legends, myths, and imagination. So this work is full of imagination and is really imaginative, and it expresses the author's loyalty, hatred, and patriotic spirit with a kind of style that is positive romanticism. Okay. And let's look at some pictures about Qu Yuan and his Li Song. And let's look. These two poem sentences show、uh, the conclusion about what kind of man Qu Yuan was, about his life, about his personality. And let's look. Ah ha, Li Song. In Li Song, there are many famous sentences. But maybe the most famous sentences are here. These two sentences, uh huh. And in English, we can translate in this way: the way to get profound knowledge and grant morality is so far. So far, that means yes, and that I will search them how from the paradise. To the hell, okay, uh huh, and how, how will heartedly, okay. For thousands of years, Dragon Boat Festival has been marked by raising dragon boats and eating zongzi. First, raising dragon boats is one of the popular. Activities, especially in the southern provinces of China. Question: Why? Why is it popular in southern provinces of China, not in the northern part of China? Why? Because in the south of China, there are many rivers full of full of water because of the climate in the south of China and. Uh, and raising dragon balls symbolizes many attempts to do what? To rescue and re re recover Chuyuan's body. Just now we said Chuyuan jumped into the Milo River and jumped himself. And then let's go on. Now let's look at something about the dragon boat. How large is the dragon boat? Okay, and how many parts? The dragon boat has several、uh, parts. First, dragon head. The dragon head is attached to the bow, and the dragon tail is placed at the stern. And let's look at the hull. The hull is the main body of the dragon boat, and it is decorated with red, green, and blue scales etched in gold. Uh huh. Is really splendid, and so in the dragon boat there should be some paddlers, some people. Yes, people are here. Paddlers, paddlers are seated side by side. And let's look at the center of the boat. In the center of the boat, some people are seated there. Who the drummers, gong beaters, sing bell players. And let's look at some pictures. Here, this is the dragon head, very splendid and powerful seems. Uh huh. And let's go on. So, as the dragon head, 
there should be some people. The people is sitting at the bow to set off the firecrackers and to lead the group. Let's look at this man and go up. Here is the center of the dragon boat. Uh huh. Here is the drum. And let's look at the paddlers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The paddlers and the drummer and the drum. Okay. The paddlers are fighting for their victory. Okay. Go on. So, how large is a dragon boat? Remember here, a typical dragon boat ranges from 50 to 100 feet in length with a beam of about 5.5 feet. Okay, it's really large. And the noise and scene created uh, the atmosphere of joy and excitement. Uh -huh. The races are held among different villages. Uh -huh. And the winners are awarded medals, banners, Jugs of wine and festive meals. Remember here, the people of paddlers in the dragon boat are fighting for their different villages and fighting for their uh, medals, for their victory. Okay, it's a great honor for each village. Mm -hmm. Another important activity of uh, Dragon Boat Festival is eating zongzi. Question, why? Why is there such activity of eating zongzi? First, let's look at the history. On hearing Chuyuan's suicide, the local people rolled their boats out onto the river to search for his corpse because he was a great man and he was loyal to his state, he was highly esteemed. Uh, the people hoped he was not dead. Okay, and to protect his body from becoming fish dinner, people fed the water creatures with zongzi. So, question: What is zongzi, and what is zongzi alike? Uh huh. Zongzi is a glutinous rice pudding. Uh -huh. Wrapped by some bamboo and reed leaves. Mm -hmm. And the ingredients such as beans, lotus seeds, chestnuts, pork fat, golden yolk of uh, salted dark egg are added to zongzi. So we may guess the flavor of zongzi may be very delicious. And question. Do all of the zongzi have the same flavors or tastes? Okay, let's look at here. The flavors, feelings, and the cooking methods of zongzi vary a lot in different regions of China. Okay, let's look. What differences? Modern style zongzi is sweet and dessert-like. Elongated cone shape with what kind of ingredients? With dates and red bean paste. It's rather simple for a northern style zongzi. But the southern style zongzi is different. The southern style zongzi is more delicious. Hydrohedral shape and mixed with ingredients such as meat, sausage, and eggs. So it seems that southern style zongzi is more delicious and with more methods. Okay. And let's look at the different shapes of zongzi. And, and here is an example for southern style zongzi. Look at here. What's it? It's the golden yolk of a sorted duck egg. Okay, and the feelings of southern style zongzi are rich and varied in shape. Let's look at these three 
uh, pictures. Uh -huh. And then, let's go on. There are some other common activities in uh, Dragon Boat Festival, for example, hanging, calamus, wormwood, mugwort, uh -huh. at the door or on the window. Okay, and for example, drinking real good wine and wearing perfume pouches. All of these activities are regarded by Chinese people as effective way uh, in preventing diseases and promoting health and well-being. So now we get the answer of uh, the question at the first I proposed in this lecture. Why does the uh, Dragon Boot Festival build people's bodies and dispel the diseases? Here is the answer. Okay. And here we find the first picture. The calamus are hanging on the window. Okay, go on. And this is real good wine. After listening to this lecture, I hope everybody can know something about uh, Dragon Boat Festival. And let's keep this Dragon Boat Festival and enjoy this festival. That's all for my lecture. Thank you very much.